Hey students, we're just going to do a quick example where we're filling out a chart that has consumption values missing. We're given real GDP over here, denoted as Y, and you can see there's three blank spots for consumption. There were two assumptions that were made when given this example. One was that your marginal propensity to consume is going to be constant throughout. And we were also told that taxes are going to be equal to zero, just so that way we don't have to worry about any of that type of changing. So what do we know here? Well, we know that the MPC is constant. Since we're given that, that must be important. And remember, the MPC is looking at how does consumption change. So in this case, my change is $600 given what was the change in GDP. And this change was $1,000. So if it's constant, that means every time that GDP changes by $1,000, consumption will change by $600. Meaning that the MPC is actually 0 0.6. That's important to know. Because the one that we're given right here is we're given an easy one where it's 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. But maybe you're not given 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. Maybe your change in real GDP isn't the same every single time. So you might need to calculate out what that MPC is. In this case, it's 0.6. Little side note, you then know that the MPS, or a marginal propensity to save, is 0.4. So if every single one of these is going up, every single one of the real GDP is going up by 1,000, that means that every consumption is going to go up by 600, meaning this will be 9,000, meaning this will be 9,600, and this will be 10,200. And that's how we solve one of these types of problems where we're given values of real GDP, we're given a few values of consumption, we know MPC is constant, so we can fill out the rest of this table.